Welcome everybody, uh, back for another short ride with the stud. I've uh, got another great one for you today. We're going to get into uh, something that we haven't shown yet in uh, any of these uh, little short rides. Uh, we're going to uh, give you something from USA Championship Wrestling, uh, which was a company uh, started in 1988. I started it in Knoxville, Tennessee. Gordon Soley, you're going to notice, is the host of this program. Uh, God had some great talent, great dressers in the, in the, in the crews. Uh, uh, today, we're going to take a look at, uh, at uh, the Mongolian Stomper against a really young kid uh, from up in Kentucky that was just getting his start. Uh, his name was Todd Morton. And uh, he's, a, he's a pretty good athlete. Uh, and uh, wow, uh, this is a tremendous, tremendous match. Uh, just to give you a little more history about it, uh, uh, we did uh, 20, uh, we've, we've got 23 of these shows on, uh, on the Classic Continental Wrestling uh, streaming channel right now. And this is from the next to the last show. Uh, I never wrestled at all on these shows. Uh, I was uh, basically a commentator with Gordon Soley on all these shows, uh, 20, 23 of them actually, all of them. And uh, on this show, it was the next to the last show that we did. And uh, the, this is going to end up uh, in a real brawl. Uh, just to give you an idea of uh, how good the talent was, uh, there's a Mongolian Stompers wrestling with a group of guys that are basically, you could call it Ron Wright stable. One of the greatest managers of all time, one of the greatest toppers of all time. Uh, he not only had the Mongolian Stomper, he had one of the Moon Dogs. Uh, he had uh, he had uh, uh, a Storm Trooper. Uh, wow, he it just he was uh, he had so many guys on his on, in, in his group that uh, you could hardly keep up with uh, who was who. But anyway, at the end of this. Uh, this is the very last match in, uh, in, in the next to the last show, and, uh, and it gets totally out of hand. Ron Wright just really uh, takes over, and his boys. And uh, you're going to see uh, you're going to see what turned out to be one of the bloodiest matches I ever saw on television. And you're going to notice that uh, the young uh, Todd Morton is going to have his face covered uh, because it was so bad that the television station would not air it. Uh, and uh, so uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this. You're going to get about uh, five minutes of it. Uh, and uh, and uh, this is, uh, I like most everything on the Classic Continental Wrestling.com channel. It's historic. And uh, so let's take a look at uh, Mongolian Stomper against Todd Morton. young fellow's got a tremendous amount of courage. I wonder about his uh, his common sense, however. He's taking on one of the most experienced, most dangerous competitors in the world today. Well, he certainly is, and he's taking on, looks like, a whole entourage here. It's not just the stomper. It looks like the stormtrooper and the dog and the bodyguard, as well as the Mongolian stomper. So, kid does have a lot of courage, and uh, if he was able to score himself a win here, he might get a shot at the world champion. Oh, yeah, no question about it. And he's obviously uh, very anxious to have the crowd with him all the way. He very quickly gets aside, headlock, the stomper fires the mob. And that's where the 200 pounds just won't uh, hack it against this 260-some-odd pounds of the Mongolian stomper. Well, it certainly won't. The stomper is a big man, but that's a good way to take him down. The youngster has found a way to get him off his feet. And I gotta give him credit for that. I didn't think he would try another frontal attack, but those drop kicks did it. They certainly did, Gordon, and, uh, and he did the right thing. He's taking the big man down to the mat, and if he can control him somewhat, he'd be in a lot better position. Leap frogs over his man. Stomper's able to roll that shoulder off. The 
Youngster's doing a good job. Uh -huh. He's really hanging in there. He's certainly doing well so far. I am absolutely amazed at the, uh, the courage of this young fellow. Like I said, I, I doubt his common sense. But now, after seeing this, I'm beginning to eat my words. Well, he's certainly a tough kid. He's got a lot of guts. And there he got a little piece of what the Stomper's all about. Now, Morton in trouble now as he was smashed into that turnbuckle. Smashed into that turnbuckle again. There's just too much size, too much weight, too much experience. Things do not look good for young uh, Todd Morton right now. They sure don't. Oh, see that stomp out there, the pressure of that. My gosh. Right up against those really good to boost to him. Huh? Well, plus this youngster's hard. He's uh, Yes, he certainly is, Gordon. Could be the end of it right here. Oh, I hate to see that. That uncalled for. The youngsters beaten. And Robert just keeps pounding away. This is a merciless beating now that really... Oh, that's too much. It certainly is. This should be it. Oh, gosh. I wish the referee had stopped this. Yeah. I have to he agree should, he should stop this at this point and just award Todd Morton the match. The Stomper is really taking advantage of him here, and I'm sure this is what Ron Wright wants. I imagine this is the way Ron Wright really likes it. The whole group out laying out there. completely out of the ring there. I don't think they could get that on the shot. I'm just stay it on the man. Uh, the referee got another referee out here now calling with a bell. Got a on second the second referee here, thank goodness. Maybe he can get this stop. Well, now there's nobody left in that ring to stop the uh, stopper from just continuing to punish Bob Morton. Well, uh, and there again, man, <laughs> what can you say? I mean, a pretty wild deal, uh, you know, and it ended up with me in the ring and uh, 
we, we came back, uh, had the last show, we sold that company, I sold that company to the same people that had bought Southeastern Wrestling from me in the end of 1987, a gentleman out of uh, Montgomery, Alabama. And uh, we, uh, we did, uh, did 24, 23 of these shows. Uh, this was the next to the last one of them. And uh, wow, uh, uh, just an idea of the great talent. Uh, we're gonna be showing you a lot more of these. Uh, you're gonna see uh, a lot of these shows, uh, pieces of these uh, USA shows. You're gonna see pieces of the Continental shows, pieces of the Southeastern, uh, some of the Gulf Coast uh, television shows. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. I'm really having a a great time piecing this all together for fans around the world and uh, and I think uh, you're going to if you keep joining us here uh, you, you you need to go over and take the long ride this is the short ride but you need to go over and take the long ride and kind of find out exactly what's on that classic continental wrestling.com streaming channel four ninety nine a month or thirty nine ninety nine a year uh, it's just a uh, 15 cents to 20 cents a day uh, for for the greatest some of the greatest wrestling historical wrestling programs and uh, content uh, in the, in the world. So uh, thank you all, all so much as always and uh, and uh, be sure and uh, come back and join us again because uh, we're going to bring you another one.